Right, so today I'm in Piccadilly for some point of view street photography. I'm gonna do some nice street scenes around here, some nice early Sunday morning. So hopefully I get something decent. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this. Please like and subscribe. We're doing more of these pretty much every week from now on. Now that we're allowed back out, so let's get into it. And in London, you don't get many types of roads like this where it's just a long straight view down. You, you kind of see this sort of thing in America more, I think. But I particularly like this because all of the old buildings were lit by the rising sun coming from the side. So it really highlights them. You've got these really old buildings and monuments like the Cenotaph and so on. And it's juxtaposed with the road leading towards us with these cars that are sort of coming straight towards us. But for me, this was a lighting shot and I kind of like the overall mood of it. Just as I was taking that, I saw a little road sweeping uh, van going round and it kept circling round into this beam of light that was cutting across the path. And I thought, I have to just get this shot. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I thought with it spraying all this water, it was gonna catch in the light. And I took a few different shots and yeah, it came out okay in the end. Uh, not a great shot, but I kind of liked it that the water was like splashing up in the light like that. I started to walk down Regent Street. But this wasn't really the direction that I wanted to go in, but I just wanted to have a little look. And as I was waiting around, I saw this guy on a electric scooter and I thought I'd take a picture. But I kind of like the way it shows the bus, which I guess is old form of transport for a city versus someone going past it um, on an electric scooter with no other type of traffic interference around it. So that's kind of what that shot was about. And I just had a little bit of a look around Piccadilly, uh, decided to move on. My plan was to walk down towards the Leicester Square area, in particular Chinatown. When I was planning this route out, one of the things I had in mind was that I'd be walking into the sunrise, not away from it, because if you're walking into it, you're going to get better lighting and more lighting opportunities, probably. So this is just the entrance at the lower part of Chinatown here. Uh, I took the chance, the road was closed, so I thought I'd take the chance here to get a picture of one of the, the gates, uh, and that's what I got. I tried a few different vertical and horizontal like landscape and portrait orientation shots. Uh, I was happy with what I got here. So I turned into the lower street. I guess this isn't really the main part of Chinatown down there. I think the, the next street on the left, which is actually smaller, is the main one. This always feels less prominent down here. But I decided today I was gonna have a little wander around here. to have a wander down here so I could get some of these lanterns. I thought it'd be kind of interesting with the way the lighting was going and it made for a more interesting shots I think when you get these beams of light coming through. So from a distance objects seem to be more clustered together as you can see with the way the lanterns are closer up you can see that they're more separated but when they're further away they look like they're more bunched together so I was taking a long range photo to start with but I think in the end I went back to my original plan which was to catch these lanterns that were being illuminated by the sun and that's kind of what got here. wanted to get in the end was just the lanterns against the sky so as I was taking these pictures I was thinking to myself what can I do well, how can I kind of get this and I thought right let's just shoot straight up I tilt the screen completely towards me and then I'll go completely vertical but then I thought yes that's right because it was the red against that blue sky and I thought the color contrast here was just spot on
So I didn't stay around much more in Chinatown. I wanted to go down to Covent Garden. And so this is the road that leads from Leicester Square to Covent Garden. And Covent Garden, you can see straight away, it's got this kind of greener vibe with all the planters everywhere. Um, and it's just kind of a different feel. And I saw this bridge, I thought it was interesting. It didn't really fit into Covent Garden, but I just thought it was an interesting design. So I took a picture of it. I hadn't seen this before. I just never like spotted it. Um, and I think sometimes when it's quieter like this, you get more of a chance to look for things. You get to see shots that perhaps you wouldn't do otherwise. I just wanted to get a picture of just down this road because the lighting was quite nice. So this is still around the station. It's just the entrance to the Covent Garden area. I just wanted to take a walk around the, the, the main part. And as I was walking in, I saw these red telephone boxes and again, they were catching the light. But I thought the thing that was interesting was that on the wall behind them, the Dior shop that was there was getting lit up as well, just where the Dior, Dior sign was. And I, I kind of framed a shot with the two of them, with these old phone boxes, these are the old school phone boxes. And then the window where the Dior logo was, was being lit up in the background too. And I wanted to turn around and go into the, the main square. And then it occurred to me, well, the light's coming through these telephone boxes. Maybe there's something I can do here. Perhaps I can get a shot. Perhaps there's something available. And I started on this one, and then I realized that the, the receiver wasn't on the phone. And I, I, I guess it just makes it a redundant phone. So I just looked at the other one and it had it there. And this was really to be more like the kind of thing that would be like a B-roll shot or a, if it were a movie, for example. I just wanted to get that flare coming through. It was like a mood. I call these mood shots. They're not really anything other than they just evoke a kind of mood. They're not, they don't have a, a strong subject or, or anything. It's just a lighting and mood and a, a kind of a vibe going on. As I was looking in and I kept that band of red from the phone box. So, just to hint at the fact that this is a London phone box. So this is uh, the famous kind of main square in, in Covent Garden. You've probably seen it a few times. It's been in movies and things. Well, probably older films, but it has been in quite a lot of films. And so this is the Apple Market section that I'm facing towards now. I wanted to take some pictures here because the lights had been left on, which I thought was great. Perfect for me. So I took a picture from the outside. And then I thought, no, I've got to move in and have a little more, little bit more of a look around in here. Uh, specifically, I think because the lights had been left on inside. When I'm taking photos, I like to do, I guess, kind of general wider shots. But I also like, as I did with the phone box, to get something that's uh, uh, more like a detail shot. And that's what this is now. I guess it's more of a detail shot to show something on the inside, but I wanted to show that repetition as well uh, of structure. When people make things, they tend to be uniform and, and come out the same, and I, I wanted to show that. And as I walked around, I kind of thought the same thing with the lighting, you know, having this straight row uh, of lights, and I did a similar type of photo for this, and I quite liked it too. This was more about the lights, even though I focused on the, on the, the metal frames, that there, this was to me about the, the kind of lighting that was there. And I thought when I came into the middle of it here, it was perfect time to just combine those two types of photo together with the symmetry of, of it being on both sides as well. And so that gave me this photograph. Kind of waiting with the lights being on it gives you that feeling that it's about to start which in a way it is really because this is just the morning time before people start turning up so i just wanted to have a little bit more of a a walk about it's starting to get much lighter now and for me the way i would like to shoot uh the lighting was pretty much almost done for me at this stage and this photo was just that the pool of light caught my eye. So I thought, 
the entrance way I kind of like gateways and entrance ways to things so I grabbed a picture of this with the lighting but there was the lighting that made me feel like you want to walk into it and see what's there and see what's going on uh, just kept the name uh, uh, plaque at the top there as well because well, this is the entrance to the lower courtyard but I decided I was just going to have a little walk around just see if there's anything much else and the only the only people around right now are cleaners and security This again was another lighting shot for me. I kind of liked it because it was one of those things where you get nice lighting coming towards you. Right, well that's it for today's little outing. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, same again next week, probably somewhere else though. Anyway, like, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you again next video. Take care, bye bye.